Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the UM Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM WDNA Community Public Radio in Miami. And my name is Maggie Bellella, sitting in this morning for Mr. Chuck Bergeron, and I'll try to do my best to bring you a lot of information about this music that you'll be hearing this morning. Happy holidays to you and wherever you may be. Uh, we're broadcasting live from Miami, Florida, so you may be listening anywhere in the world, but I hope that you'll uh, join us and, and uh, enjoy the music this morning. Uh, we want to thank the wonderful audience that we have here in the studio, so thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> this morning we have a wonderful ensemble, or an aggregate of musicians, as they want to call themselves, uh, Tom Lippincott aggregate here on the UM Frost Jazz Hour. He's on guitar this morning. Rodolfo Zuniga is on drums, Max Schwartz on bass, and Mr. Dave Fernandez on saxophone. So help us welcome this morning the Tom Lippica aggregate. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much for that wonderful tune, Tom Libincott Aggregate, here on uh, the Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA. Well, to be here. Welcome, welcome. So what was that tune that you just played? Uh, that tune was called Experimental Disorder. <laughs> Sort of progressive jazz, maybe what you call it. Yeah, that, I is guess that so. what you would call it? Kind of maybe stream of consciousness. Yeah, right. Tom Lippincott, originally from New Jersey. That's correct. Grew up in Oklahoma. Grew up in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Oklahoma. Wonderful. And yet, then you went to University of North Texas. That's right. That's such a famous uh, music program, right? Yeah, it was a great experience going there. Uh huh. And how'd you wind up down here? Well, I actually, um, when I was getting ready to graduate from North Texas, I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I mean, I knew I wanted to be a musician, but I didn't have any gigs. I, you know, nothing really on the horizon. And somebody said, well, you should go to graduate school. So I applied to a couple of schools, and I got into one and was all set to go. And then my guitar teacher came to me, like, right at the end of the spring semester when I was about to graduate and said, University of Miami is looking for a teaching assistant, and I think you should apply. So... I sent a tape in and thought, oh, I'll never get that, you know, and then sure enough, like a couple weeks later, I got the letter in the mail that said, you're the new teaching assistant at University of Miami, so I called the, the other school where I had been set to go, and luckily the guy there was very understanding, so oh, if you got UM, you've got to go there for sure. Yeah. Of course, back in those days, it was UM, not Frost. Right, and it was Suntan U as well, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so a little bit uh, of a different uh, take than Texas, right? Uh, definitely. So then you did finish your, your doctorate? Actually, I just did my master's. Your master's, oh, okay, great, great, great. So you've been composing for quite a while now. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I would say it's kind of what got me into music. Uh, when I first heard the Beatles as a kid, I said, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I was more infatuated with the idea of writing music, even more so than the, you know, the, the performing part of it. Mm -hmm. Right, so right, that right. So kind of, I was bit with the bug right away. Well, that's good. That's good for us that you were doing that, so as we get to enjoy it. So tell me about these guys that you're playing with. This morning. All right, well, I'll start with the sax player. Um, this is probably the, the guy in the group that I've known the longest. Um, me too. <laughs> since he was in high school, actually. Well, I, I guess you've got me on that one. <laughs> I haven't known him since then, but uh, I met him, I think, uh, probably about, what, 15, even 20 years ago. Uh, we, we used to play together in Hal Rowland's band, who oh I guess my. you guys are familiar yeah. with. Sure. And uh, I, I still remember one memorable trip where we played in Kansas City and we were roommates. And I didn't know Dave very well at that time. And he was this young kid wearing like basketball shorts and he had this big gold chain with a Spider Man <laughs> pendant. And he goes, You like my bling? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Who is this guy that they put me with here? <laughs> <laughs> that's, he, that's Dave. Yeah, that's Dave. I mean, he, he's, we always talk about that. He, he's, he's one of the most unusual people I've ever met, but it, it, in a really cool way. He's like always like got something positive and, and he's always, he likes to have fun. And um, I think that's a big part of the music that I've written for this group. I, I kind of like to keep a spirit of fun because I think that's, you know, kind of inspired me by Dave. Yeah. And on bass we've got, oh, and banjo. This is the youngest member of the group here. This is the young Max Schwartz. And uh, yeah, I, I've just gotten to know Max, what, in the last couple of years. We've done some gigs around town. Uh, he's a great bass player. And then I just happened to, I think, overhear him talking about playing banjo. And he, he's really into the bluegrass world. I know he won some kind of a uh, competition this past summer playing banjo. Congratulations. So when I was putting the group together for these performances, I thought it'd be really cool to, to have some banjo involved. So I asked Max to play, you know, kind of both bass and banjo, and he agreed. Yeah. So I was re I'm really happy to have him. But yeah, he's a real talented guy. Right. And then last here on drums, another guy that I've known for quite a while. This is Rodolfo Zuniga. Um, he's, you know, I've played with him a lot in a lot of different situations. He's become a really good friend. And uh, same thing, I'm, I'm always really inspired to play with him. With, with all of these guys in particular, I think I feel 
super comfortable. Like they, they just make me feel like they've got my back, you know, no matter <laughs> what. If I screw up or something, they're gonna, you know, try to make me sound better instead of, you know, being like, oh man, you screwed up, Lip and Cot. <laughs> well, so. and you play some great, uh, you know, compose some great tunes for them to play as well, so. But we enjoy playing together for sure. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that banjo. So what are we gonna play? Okay, we're going to play, uh, actually, kind of a medley. The, the, the first tune Max is going to play banjo on, it's actually an old song of mine called Cartoon Dream. And uh, one of my students, actually, just recently was telling me that he had listened to my old CD and liked the song, and I had been thinking about something to write for Max on banjo. I thought, you know, that would actually sound really cool on banjo. Mm -hmm. So I put that on the program, and then the, the tune we're going to do after that is uh, a tune called Simolina Pilcher that's a, a new one that I wrote. Wonderful. Look forward to listening to that. Uh, you're listening to the UM Frost Jazz Hour here on 88.9 FM WDNA Community Public Radio in Miami and being live streamed worldwide. And you can tune in on iHeartRadio and tune in radio and, of course, live stream the video as well. So we welcome back to the stage the Tom Lippincott Aggregate.
That's the Tom Lippincott Aggregate here on the UM Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, Community Public Radio in Miami. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back with more music after that. So stay tuned. back. This is the UM Frost Jazz Hour on 88.9 FM WDNA, Community Public Radio, and I think, uh, I think Alberto wanted to say a few words. Alberto, are you coming? Are you? Okay. Alberto is, uh, de la Reguera is the director of this wonderful program. Uh, he's actually the producer, the ones that gets all these musicians together week after week, year after year, and so we're very proud of the work that he's been doing. <laughs> and we thank him, thank him very, very much. He's come up with uh, quite a very unusual, always a very exciting program every week. So, Alberto, pick up the microphone and yeah, say yeah, whatever you... About that, you know, we got a new design now for the whole program. We always, uh, our... Uh, our engineer uh, Alex always gets something new coming up. Uh, no, no, not every week, but more, you know, more or less uh, once a month, right, Alex? I want to give thanks, you know, to a few people that, um, as a matter of uh, being grateful, we do it every last uh, show of the of the year. And today's the last show. Uh, I want to remind you that uh, we're going to have a, a Shelly Burke. It's show that he did like he did it about three or four months ago. And also um, another show coming after that, you know, we're going to be reviewing. We're going to be off as far as the live shows, but we're going to have some reruns coming up, which are really good music. Want to give thanks to you, Maggie, and uh, to Howard the, the Duperly, of course, uh, Howard uh, Maggie, a general manager, manager and Howard, uh, our marketing director, uh, John Daversa, the, who made it all possible when I went uh, he, he was uh, on the head of the department for about a year. And I said, hey, you know, John, I got this really cool idea. And uh, he came around, and he loved it. Uh, to our two uh, DJs or hosts, you know, uh, if you may, uh, Chuck Bergeron and Tim Smith. Also to Sarah Cruz, uh, to Jenny, to Alex Mann. You know, he's a great engineer, the best engineer we always had, to Philly Capuzzi. Who is uh, just, uh, you know, um, our uh, live streaming video operator who's getting ready right now to go on the next hour after we're off here? We're going to, uh, with a live, uh, with a Latin jazz hour. And uh, also to a person who it would be impossible to, uh, uh, for me, to everything who to have done this. I remember that on our first show, the first show we ever had, uh, he came to me and uh, with a camera, I said, you know what, can I? take some photographs, and, and I say, hey, you know, uh, we, we need all the help that we can, you know, yeah, yeah. At, at this stage. And um, the wonderful uh, photographer, a great friend. And uh, from that day on, you know, I think, I think you're the, the most sought after a photographer in Miami. <laughs> and that's, uh, you know, we're, we're very proud of that. Thank you very much, Phil. Really appreciate it. Phil Avello. Yes, sir. Philip Avello. 
And uh, I hope that, you know, next year, uh, thank you very much for coming on this last day of the year and a lot of good things to all of you. And we want to thank the audience. Uh, we have some very many regulars that come here every week, and we thank you very much for coming and spreading the word. And those of you that are watching uh, online on live stream, we thank you very, very much for tuning in. And those of you that are listening uh, on the radio and on live stream and iHeartRadio on TuneIn, we thank you very much for tuning in and supporting Community Radio, Public Radio, WDNA, and live music. And so we welcome back to the UM Frost Jazz Hour, the Tom Lippincutt Aggregate.
Yeah. I was going to say, come and tell us what you've uh, played. Uh, Tom Lippincott, aggregate here on the UM Frost Jazz Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM in Miami and live streamed uh, on video and audio streamed on iHeartRadio and tune in and any other mobile devices. So what have we heard? The, uh, the first tune that we played was another one that featured Max on banjo, uh, and that actually is called very simply Banjo Tune. I couldn't really think of a better name for it. If anybody has any ideas, <laughs> let me know. Um, and then the, the second one that we went into after that is uh, a tune that I came up with that I knew sounded like a familiar mel melody. Uh, and so I called it, once I figured out what the melody was, I called the song Like a Diamond, because <laughs> it's kind of like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh, right, yeah, that's what it was, okay. <laughs> So that was it. Okay. So what, what projects do you have? Do you have any recording projects coming up? Or? Um, none in the immediate works, but I would like to record some of these tunes with these guys. Um, we've talked about it a little bit, but nothing, nothing specific yet. Yeah, well. I've also got some, some vague plans to do a solo guitar recording. I've recorded a few tunes for that already, and it just uh, requires the the time and the motivation to do it. Sure. Well, that's uh, as as is with all of us in any project we undertake. <laughs> yeah. The time and the motivation to do it. Well, we want to thank you very much, Tom. Tom Lippincott here on the UM Frost Jazz Hour, uh, together with Mr. Dave Fernandez on saxophone, Mr. Max Schwartz on bass, and Rodolfo Suniga on drums, and so. What are we gonna? Well, we got some time now. We've got we got a few minutes. Yeah, to we've got maybe one more that we can play you out sure. with. Sure. We're gonna close. This out last with. one that we're gonna play is a tune I wrote called "The Brick," and it was actually named after uh, Rodolfo's old place, which was on Brickell Avenue. And Dave used to call it "The Brick," and uh -huh. we there was a period of time where we would get together there and play and kind of workshop tunes that Rodolfo and Dave and I were all kind of working on, and we'd try stuff out and see how it worked and it was kind of a, I had fond memories of, of those days, so mm -hmm. when I wrote this tune, I called it The Brick. Well, good. We look forward to listening to it. Uh, we want to thank you very much for tuning in to the UM Frost Jazz Hour. We want to thank you very much for all of your support throughout the year to WDNA Community Public Radio. Uh, this will be our last live program for the year. Next week will be a repeat of a wonderful co concert that was uh, performed by the Dean of the School of Music, Mr. Shelley Berg, and then uh, the week after that, another rerun. So this will be our last live show for the year. We want to thank you, the audience. We hope to see you again next year uh, and God willing uh, and our health and uh, keeps up so we hope to see you again and thank you very much for tuning in and we're closing out the Tom Lippincott aggregate here on the UN Frost Jazz Hour. <laughs>